Okay, I am going to show you how to use the camera to kind of move around in the scene um, non-destructively without having to transform all the different content in the scene where you can kind of pan and zoom and rotate um, without actually having to mess with the content of the scene. So we're going to toggle on the camera here, which is in the top left, I mean top right, in the leftmost icon. You'll see the different camera controls. You can uh, move the camera, uh, zoom in, zoom out, scale the camera. Uh, you can rotate or you can uh, snap the full screen. So we're going to make sure it's at the full screen right now. You can kind of snap it. All right, so um, just kind of give you an idea. You can zoom in, you know, move, rotate, and then you can also snap to full screen. So we're going to actually uh, move the camera. We want to start at this left side, kind of pan over, and then kind of zoom back out to give you kind of a full uh, panoramic view of the scene. And so I'm going to zoom in right here, uh, the camera, and then I'm going to uh, pan it over here, pin it to this left-hand side. And then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create, so this is going to be my first keyframe, okay? I'm going to create a new frame, and I am going to copy all of the content from this frame, because I want it to stay the same, and then I'm also going to link it. And what that means is that instead of just making duplicates of all the images, if I change, if it's linked, if I change any of the content, if I add a little more detail to the sky or to the mountains, it's going to change across any of my linked frames. Okay, so I'm going to create this new frame, okay, and then now I am going to move the camera over, you can see this red box where the camera was. Okay, I'm also going to zoom out just a little bit. Okay, and we're going to move it back inside the content. And we're also going to rotate a little bit. You know, just kind of give you a feel, some natural camera movements. Okay, and then we're going to create one more scene here. Um, keep all the content, it's all copied and linked. And then so we're now, we are going to move this guy. Um, well, we're going to create another scene, but or, I mean another keyframe, but we kind of want to level out the camera a little bit. Zoom out, okay. And then I am going to uh, create one more. And this is where I'm going to snap it to full screen. And so now I have my four different keyframes here. Um, as you can see, it's very rough and coarse camera movement, um, you know, to do over four frames. So we're actually going to repeat each one. I'm going to repeat the first one about uh, 10 times. Okay. And so it's going to create it's and the nice thing about this that I have built in is that if you create a, a keyframe uh, between one camera to the next camera, it'll actually create all the steps in between to get it to the next position. Okay, and then we're gonna do we're gonna do this next one right here. We're gonna repeat this guy probably um, maybe uh, we'll do it ten times as well. Okay. And so now you have it pan over, you have it kind of stabilize and zoom out. And then now we're going to create this last guy, uh, or the second to last guy. We're going to repeat it uh, another 10 times over here, just to kind of get some nice camera movement uh, where it zooms back out. And then at the end, we want it to kind of pause. So we're going to repeat this scene um, 10 times as well. And then, uh, and then we're also going to repeat the front about 10 times to kind of give you a nice pause uh, before it actually does any camera movement. So as you can see the frame here, you can see the frame begin to move, okay, and then it begins to scale out, okay. So we're going to export this now. And uh, one thing to note about the camera is the camera though it shows the frame when you're editing the animation um, it doesn't actually apply the camera until you actually export the animation so we are going to export the animation now and we're, we'll do it as a um, like an mp4 um, and then we're also doing it like we'll do it at 10 frames 
uh, well, we'll do it at 12. It's a pretty smooth uh, animation. So we're going to uh, save it. Um, now, one thing that uh, Animation Studio does is because it has linked layers uh, across multiple frames and it also has uh, camera movements, it has to rebuild all of these frames for the video. And you can see it counting up top, it's counting to 54. It has to rebuild each frame. Uh, so the more complex your project, uh, the longer it's gonna take, but uh, you know, it, it has to kind of do this process. Okay, so we're gonna play it, okay? We're gonna play the animation, gonna see how it plays out. All right, so here we go. Yep. So it's a little quick, but uh, you can kind of see, we'll play it again just so you can kind of see how it plays out. It begins to scale out. So we could probably smooth that uh, a little bit more, you know, to try to get a feel for different, but you, you get the idea, I think, with that, so.